Oh, Ukrainian forces say they have repelled an attack on the country's second city of Kharkiv after fierce clashes with Russian forces. Thousands of refugees continue fleeing the invasion now in its fourth day. Oh, for a number of Kenyan students who barely made it out, the journey back home is proving more difficult than anticipated as other countries plan evacuation flights for their citizens. Changamwe member of parliament Omar Mwini never thought he would be having this conversation with his daughter thousands of kilometers away. Hi. Lakini Hakuna mambo ya stampede, hakuna mambo ya fujo, hakuna nini? Hakuna. Chakula mala? Okay. Right now, he's not representing the interests of his constituents, but simply a concerned father, trying to find out whether his daughter, who just days ago was in a war zone. Come here. Again, there's more discrimination. We haven't slept or eaten for about three days. We've all walked 20 plus kilometers to the whole time. Why does my nationality or the passport that I hold determine when or how I rest? It makes absolutely no sense to me. So then we ask, okay, can we pay for it? They say, no. Okay, can we pay for a, hotel in a, uh, for a different hotel? They say, no. The mayor has issued a directive that accommodation in this city is only for Ukrainians. Her identity concealed for her safety, but she is one of eight Kenyan students who managed to cross into Poland. The more difficult task now is getting them home and dealing with the unfortunate incidents of discrimination. It makes no sense. They're giving the world this idea that they're helping all refugees. But when you get here, it's an entirely different matter. The passport that you hold determines the amount of help that you get. Most countries are finding it difficult to evacuate citizens from Ukraine and rather directing them to Poland. As far as African countries offering evacuation flights, Nigeria and Sudan are making plans to do so. This is the situation thousands are trying to escape. This video showing the night of terror in Kharkiv as missiles rained down on Ukraine's second city that is home to 1.4 million residents. However, Ukrainian forces say they repelled the attack after fierce street-to-street -street fighting with Russian forces. The UN says about 368,000 refugees have left Ukraine since the conflict began. The fighting across Ukraine has resulted in at least 240 civilian casualties, including 64 deaths, according to the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights. Meanwhile, Russian airlines face a near-total airspace blockade to the country's west after an EU official said most European countries are set to impose flight bans. The Ukrainian president saying they are ready for peace talks with Russia, but not in neighboring Belarus, which is an ally of Moscow. Speaking in Russian, in a video message on Sunday, Zelensky left the door open for negotiations elsewhere and listed other cities as alternative venues.